Oh, this one moved. You tricker. I saw it. You were outside. You're not dead. Welcome to Small Turns Big. Today, we're looking at a clam under the microscope. Clams usually live in sea, water or river beds, but they dig themselves under the sand. Unlike oysters or mussels where they attach to uh, some surface like a rock. So I took this clam out of the fridge an hour ago. So I hope he's still alive. Let's see what, what, how he's gonna react. So first of all, let's see his outer shell. It's quite cool looking. You can see all the stripes there. And on this side here, on this edge, this is the position where he opens and close. So let's tilt this around. It's very slippery. Wow, cool. So this is quite a cool looking. You can see how the, the stripes go start from here and go over the clam. And let's zoom in here a bit maybe. I see some holes here. So let's zoom in here. Cool. So let me poke this a little bit here. And see. Kind of soft. Let's look at it from the other side, maybe, where the opening is. Cool. So you can see we moved over here to the other side of the clam, just where the opening starts. Let's see if we can open it up. Ah. Oh. Okay, what's happening now? Now I'm surprised. So I don't eat any clam or oysters or things of this nature, so I'm not familiar at all how these work. <laughs> I just uh, gonna guess I'm gonna find out now. So you see in the background there's something is, is detaching. So I guess this is the muscle that holds itself closed and now it's gonna rip apart. Here if you open it up, whoop, there it went. But I think they have by, by nature they have like this contra contraction uh, mechanism. So even if it's dead I think it will, will uh, try to reconnect. Let's open him up completely here. So let's uh, hold this. Ooh, uh, something squirted out. Whoa! It's still alive for sure, that is moving around. So what we got here is the in-current and the ex-current. So where it's exchanging uh, water and liquid and getting its nutrients from. So this is uh, quite cool because you see how it's moving. If this got you interested in learning STEM topics to make improvements in your life, then I recommend you check out Brilliant to improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills. Their lessons are interactive so that you are applying what you've learned and understanding the why of it instead of just memorizing formulas to get by. To supercharge your learning, go to brilliant.org slash small turns big and the first 200 signups get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So I got here some gla a glass of water. Let's try to put some liquid on it. Let's see how it will react. If I drop some water on it. Yeah, it's fresh wa water. So it's not salty at all. It's not what it's used to. So it's reacting now to this different liquid doesn't like it so much because normally yeah it would open up and exchange the liquid here with the in and x current let's poke it maybe a little bit see what happens Ooh, it doesn't like it at all it's attached here to the outer rim and this is the mantle and it goes all the way around the clam so this is how it can uh, can uh, attach both sides, both ends of the clam. Here you can see, it looks like the fish gills, but it's, uh, yeah, the clam gills here. It has, it has also these stripes in it, like, like in the fish, but it has a different color. Fish is more like salmon color. It's kind of cool. And in this big blob here, <laughs> this thing here, oh, you can see it moving now. He can move himself around in the sand and also get a grip somehow with this part here. I actually don't know, do you eat this raw or would you cook it still? I think some people eat it raw. So this looks also quite interesting. This is where we, the clam had its connection. And this looks super, super nice and white and clean. And is, it's not soft, it's hard. Ooh. This is, this is hard. So this you would not eat, I think. Yeah, this doesn't detach. Okay guys, oh, this one moved. You tricker. I saw it. 
You are outside, you're not dead. Okay, so this one is faking it. He's faking it. <laughs> I saw you, you cannot hide from me. It was open. 100% it was open. Maybe, maybe they do have ears. Maybe he's, he heard everything I said. So he's, he knew I wanted, I wanted him to come out, but he just didn't react. I was at the ocean also already before and trying to play with these guys. So the more you're trying to tease them, the, the harder they will just suck up and close, close themselves so they will not open at all. So I guess the best is just to leave them sitting for a while and uh, see what happens. So guys, next time you're at the ocean and find a clam or in a restaurant, you're looking at the clams and playing around with them. Don't give them a knock knock because they'll probably hide away and never come back out again. Keep that in mind, just observe them and you'll see more than you think. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.